What's good? What's popping, everybody? Hope you're having a wonderful fucking day. Uh, well, today, we're back with another quick New World video. It, uh, as the time this was released, about 40, 45 minutes ago, and it is the next update coming to New World. It's 1.0.2, um, and so we're going to just go over it. It's going to be one the first time that I'm seeing these patch notes with you, so let's just go over it together. So, New World update 1.0.2. Uh, the update will release at 3 a.m. PT on October 13th, so tomorrow. Greetings, adventurers. This week's update brings in another swath of bug fixes alongside laying additional groundwork for the upcoming server transfer feature. Many members of our team are still working tirelessly on ensuring everyone can find a world to call their long-term home with the character transfer feature. We'll have more information on server transfers when they're ready. You can check out our forums announcement for initial details, and in the meantime, you can find the list of bug fixes we've addressed below. So this server transfer, I made a video back on it a couple of videos ago. Go check that out if you're looking for my thoughts on the transfer itself. But they said that it was supposed to be coming this week, and it looks like it may, might not be, which already is a little shitty. We've been waiting a while for it. They, I hope they don't push back to next week or, you know, worse comes to worse, so like November. Hopefully it's still going to come out this week. I know a lot of people are waiting to be able to hang out and play with their friends, so hopefully Amazon gets it together. I know they're trying to make it perfect, and they're making sure it launches as well, which I'm here for. But it's just sad that they keep giving us a date and then pushing it back. So hopefully they figure that out soon. Anyway, let's dive into these changes. So faction missions. We've adjusted the rate of influence gain over so that it will continue to require significant effort over time to flip a territory in a conflict state. What does that mean? Reduce the amount of influence in increase over time significantly for attacking factions this is to account for a bug we found oh good where we, where the increase was multiplied much faster than the intended over time wow okay and remove the decrease influence over time for defending factions so it sounds like there was some sort of bug that was making it really really easy to continue to make territories be put into a conflict state um, i know that on my server People have just been declaring wars pretty much right after uh, territory has been claimed or a war had ended for it. So it seems that that's not what they are intending. It seems that they are wanting it to be that over time, it's harder to, you know, it takes a little bit of time to put uh, a territory back into a conflict state. So it's kind of weird to see that this was a bug that has only just now been addressed. Um, but this is essentially going to mean that your not going to be seeing as many flips territories it means that when a war uh, is over you can't immediately put a place back into a conflict state so you can declare one on it again uh, i think that's pretty good it seems that it's kind of hard to for for you to hold a territory for a long period of time i know again on my server windsward's a pretty popular place on pretty much everywhere uh every server but it's been controlled and attacked pretty much daily uh, since the start of the game, I think there's been probably four or maybe five wars since the launch of the game, just for Windsward between Marauders, Syndicate, and Covenant. So it's not just like one faction that's doing it uh, over and over. It's all three. So hopefully this means that it's you know once you actually can finally put into conflict and you you know you declare war and you actually defeat it, you can actually hold it for a certain amount of time, kind of gather your stuff back up before somebody can attack it again. So that's pretty cool. It's weird that, again, that there was this bug that was increasing. It was like not even just the opposite, but it actually was the opposite times like five by multiplied much faster than intended. So I'm glad they fixed that. Um, now on to general bug fixes. Hopefully here, I know there's been a lot of uh, problems people are having with the level 65 uh, portals. So hopefully in here, we're going to see them addressing that i know that it's just broken right now using them and a lot of people are kind of reaming amazon for it and saying that you know everyone is saying you know see how a game developer how game developers address their game in the first month on fixes and you can kind of see the direction and a lot of people are saying that if these kind of major bug fixes don't get fixed soon it's not it doesn't bode a good sign for you know amazon or game developers in general Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, so, fix an issue where players could respawn as a corpse. Huh. I personally haven't seen this. 
that sounds kind of funny. It reminds me of like, you know, in World of Warcraft, when you die, you're essentially like a wisp or a person. You have to run back to your body to get resurrected. That's interesting. I wonder if that's what that is saying. I don't, or like, do you actually spawn as this, an undying person that, I don't know. I've never heard that. That's interesting. And it seems like a kind of a game breaking bug if you could actually fight and not die. But good thing it's getting fixed. Fix an issue where a tier three fishing treasure chest wouldn't fight back after being hooked. Very easy. Good, uh, you know, little fix right there. Fixed various localization issues. Text fields, good. Fix an issue causing players kick suspended removing the game by easy anti cheat to receive unclear communication. Additional messaging has been added. Okay, so that's good. I know some people were experiencing things where they were getting, uh, you know, kicked, banned, suspended, whatever, uh, in without like a lot of notification, some weird little bugs with that. So that's good. They fix that because you're causing territory influence to be set after invasion. I haven't experienced that. That sounds really shitty. Uh, weird that again, these all seem like pretty big bugs and it's weird that I, I mean, I'm glad they're getting fixed, but that they have been in the game. I haven't heard. This is hopefully not a huge, you know, thing and not a lot of people have experienced it because that could sh be really shitty losing all your influence territory or your territory influence after an invasion because also invasions remember they aren't uh, it's not like somebody declaring war on you yeah, that's something the game does by itself so it's kind of shitty to think that a game has uh a it, it makes it, it it has an in-game event for you and you can't control it and then after that you lose your influence because of the game itself um okay so let's see uh fixed a game cr or no fixed an issue where players attempting to take a split amount of stacked items from a different settlement their faction notes they were changed the, for the entire cost of the items okay good fixed a game ca crash caused by player targeting the player with a healing effect at the exact same moment i that just seems weird i don't understand what okay it's a little weird Fix an issue, reducing variety and potential quantity of loot obtained from game modes and chests within the world. Fix an issue, reducing variety and potential quantity of loot. So it sounds like there was a bug where you were getting not only the same loot, but a lot of the same loot maybe, when it wasn't really, no, reduce the variety. You were getting way too many variances and too much of them in game modes. Okay, so that's good. It reduced a little bit. I have noticed that, that sometimes... Like you're doing elite farm, elite mob farming, uh, you get dropped a lot of different random kind of things and rather than like what the area is supposed to give you. Like for instance, in Dead Man's Cove, you know, the boss is kind of drops like rapier, I think a, a musket and like swashbuckler stuff. And it's kind of weird that you could be getting a lot of drops that none of them are actually swashbuckler. So that's what it sounds like it might be fixing. Um, fixed an issue, uh, cause... Fixed an issue causing some crafting bonuses not to provide minimum intended values. Uh, glad that's fixed. That's that uh, really feels bad kind of, you know, moment there. Fixed an issue uh, where overflow items and storage transfer to a different territory. That's weird. I've never heard of that, but that's weird that it just would automatically default to putting it to a different territory. I guess maybe I should go in and check to make sure that that's not happened to me. Fixed an issue where petting barking meats cause the camera to chitter. <laughs> okay. Fixed an issue causing the ice pylon to not cool down appropriate. That's huge. That's, uh, you know, it could be good and bad. You know, it could not appropriate. It could give you shorter cooldown, long cooldown. So that's good that they're it's working as intended. Fix an issue where settlement storage can become massively overflowed by expired contracts. Okay. Fix an issue where place movement could stutter after becoming encumbered from logging. I have seen so many of these things. And it's happened to me myself that you're finished doing. And it's like back in closed beta where you could, there was like essentially a bug that you could be over encumbered, but you could not only use your abilities, but you ran at like full speed, if not a little bit faster. So I'm glad they fixed that. It's weird that I hadn't had that until the latest update. So it seems that maybe that somehow got brought back in when they did the first update to the game. Just an issue where there were not enough chests at Hapless Homestead to fulfill faction quest requirements. Good. That seems weird that. There weren't chests to begin with. Fixing issue causing players to randomly teleport. <laughs> oh god, Amazon. I, the more I read these, the more that these seem to be pretty important bugs. This sounds if you could actually like control it, you know, remember what's that Wreck It Ralph? Uh the 
Penelope, the girl driver, she could control her teleports and ended up getting her. Uh, she ended up winning over it. That's what this kind of reminds me of. That's if someone could actually figure out how to exploit this properly and uh, teleport, that'd be kind of funny, but broken, obviously. So I'm glad they fixed that, fixed an issue. Her players disappear standing still when a K okay, fixed an issue where causing repeater turrets to appear as if they were fine projectiles at an angle that did not align with the turret. Okay, that seems like just a weird bug. Fixed miscellaneous game crashes. Always good. Sucks when your game crashes. I know last night I was playing and I was, I was having a lot of freeze frames and my program just stopped responding. Didn't actually crash, but I had to close the game to make it work. So I'm glad this is, these are always good fixes. Fix an issue. So AI fixes. Fix an issue where Marsh jaw responds slower than intended. Okay, cool. Respawn rate. Respawn rate. Fix an issue causing twice the intended number of boars to spawn up boars home. So this is one of the, if you want to call it an exploit that people were doing. Obviously, it seems like it kind of was. Uh, it was just a bug causing the boards to spawn twice as fast. But this is how people were leveling their skinning super fast. I also did video covering lodestone layer, which is another one, which doesn't seem to be getting addressed in this. But it wasn't nearly as bad as the boar. You could go to that place, and there is just boars on top of boars on top of boars. It was hard to even see loot if it anything dropped. So it's funny to think that twice the number were actually being spawned from it. So store fixes. Um, fix an issue where players could be prompted to purchase an item they had previously started the unlocking process on in the in-game store when trying to unlock another item immediately after. Uh, that's weird. At least it didn't like actually jit people a lot of money. It just kind of paywall blocked you, but it didn't actually, you know, make you lose an item or anything. So that's good. They fix it. Fix an issue causing store previews for skins not to work properly. Okay, cool. Fix an issue where righteous guardian skin will not change color in war. Will not change color in war. Uh, incorrect post. Okay, so these are just little tiny fixes. This uh, seems like it's the biggest one um, out of the store fixes. Cool. So overall, let's see what I think about this. Um, I think the server transfer, I'm glad they're talking about it, but it does worry me a little bit because the fact that they're talking about it means that there might be another delay coming in, and that's always not that's not a good thing. We've been waiting on it for a while, and I know for me personally, I'm still waiting to be able to play with a lot of my friends because we went to all the different servers just so we could play the game. So I'm hoping that it does still come out this week, but it looks like there's a chance that it looks like they might be delaying it. Uh, faction missions, this is going to be dramatically changing how the game is played. Um, it's essentially not letting you throw a territory in the conflict state as quickly after it gets flipped. So that's good. Um, it's going to allow people to actually maintain their uh, territory they won for a little bit of time before they could be thrown in again. It kind of just suck. It had to feel bad to me on that. You know, not everyone could be on every single day at this specific time to, you know, do wars. And so that was kind of uh, feels bad that you could be, there was like, like I said, I had like four or five already in just Windsward. So think about that, plus however many other territories, was how many other things, uh, how many other wars being declared. So this is going to dramatically change the game. Um, there's some pretty big major bug fixes that I'm glad they're fixing. It seems weird that they were still in the game. Uh, to be honest, like this losing territory influence, the respawning as a corpse. I Again, I, I don't know if this is major game breaking because I actually don't, I've never experienced this or heard about this, so I don't know what a corpse, what that entails for them. But it could have been bad. Um, the what are some other ones? Uh, the teleporting one we saw down here. Uh, where was it? Causing uh, players to randomly teleport. Um, the ice pylon ability cooldown. All these things. So really great bug fixes. I'm glad they're addressing it. it Suck that they're taking a little bit longer to do these. Some of these are things that you would hope they fixed. I just thought about this going through this video. I did not see anything about the tier five Azoth staff uh, with the corrupted portal. So that is really shitty. Um, I know that a lot of people have been uh, essentially just wanting the game to work as intended and not have bug fix uh, bugs. So I hope that they hear this little bit of outcry and maybe they make a really quick bug fix or just somehow add it. I doubt it's going to come with this because like I said, it's in a tomorrow is when it drops and it's unlikely that they're going to change all these you know, these uh, articles and stuff beforehand, but hopefully they get addressed really soon because essentially end game content uh, at 60, the 65 portals aren't working as intended. They're bugged out. So 
Uh, that does suck. I hope Amazon does do something about that. Uh, but other than that, there's not any really big buck picks that I can think of that I'm uh, wish that I saw in here. I guess maybe that uh, again, if we're looking at this again from the standpoint of Amazon, other than the bores down here about the twice the number, it seems that the respawn rates as the others other places are kind of intended, or at least they don't find them as a problem. So I just talked about this in one of my videos about the lotion layer. Some people are saying it's an exploit, you can get banned or whatever. It does not seem like you, that is, that's still not a problem. It seems uh, P Amazon could be doing something about it and they're not. So just a little quick notion on that. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this one. Uh, make sure to uh, like it and subscribe. If you like this video, I'm going to be doing a video every day until the end of October. I actually already just posted one today and I'm going to post this one up right now because it's relevant. Uh, so people know, you know, the patch notes and stuff before they come out. Um, I will be leaving a link in for this article down below. As I'll, always, guys, you know, comment your thoughts down below. What bug fixes do you wish Amazon would have been putting into the things, things that you, they missed? Any of you guys were affected by some of these bugs? Let me know. Like I said, I didn't even know about some of these bugs. Um, and yeah, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Until next time, take it easy.